Hey everyone, it's Docfire. Welcome to Docfire's Down and Dirty Reviews. If you're looking for unbiased reviews on autococker parts and markers, well, you've come to the right place. Because I have to buy this stuff out of my own pocket. Anyway, enjoy the show. And you have a good time here? Do me a favor. Hit that like and subscribe button. Have a good one. Hey everyone, it's Docfire. It's time for another Docfire Down and Dirty Reg Test. Today's reg is the Azodin Rocksteady Regulator. This regulator uh, runs about $45 at your local retailer and is a 0 to 700 PSI a moving base style regulator. Now it is, it is the uh, uh, lowest priced regulator in the mix. So with that, let's get on to the actual dyno run. And here we go. You're at feet per second. It's the bottom right hand corner. And when you're looking at this, the blue line trace line is the Azodin reg and the red is the CP tank reg. Uh, when you're looking at the the uh, the chart down below, the uh, value column is the one you want to pay attention and you can pause with that one. The other columns aren't as accurate when I'm doing it in the video mode. All right, we'll get through this. We'll get into the results page. All right, here are the results. Out of 10 shots, um, the uh, average response time is 259 milliseconds. The average uh, PSI, the RMS PSI average was uh, 197 uh, PSI, the max PSI was 201, and the minimum PSI was 141 with an average feet per second of 287 feet per second. Now, this reg um, is so far uh, the slowest response reg, okay? But don't discount this reg right off the bat. It is a $45 reg, and if we start looking at, let's look at the uh, look at the standard deviation. Let's look at the RMS PSI. And the RMS PSI had a standard deviation of 0.75. So it actually was pretty consistent in that. Um, and the max PSI, it had a standard deviation of basically 1.3 PSI. And then the minimum was 1.1 PSI. And then in the feet per second, it was 1.58. Now, what I've noticed in this reg when doing the testing and going back and reviewing uh, the trace is that this, this reg, although it has a slower response time, it responds back. So let's say it's set at, let's say 200 PSI, right? And you fire the marker and then it takes, you know, approximately, uh, you know, 300 milliseconds to get back to that 200 PSI, but it really jumps back to about 197 PSI, right? Or right around that or 195 PSI. And so it's pretty consistent there. Uh, there's a lot of things that I think we can do to change these numbers. And uh, I'm going to be ad uh, adding an additional uh, video onto this one showing how we can improve this reg with some minimal tools. Anyway, folks, that was the Azodin Rocksteady reg. Don't uh, forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified on the next video. All right, Doc out.